Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. So as you've probably noticed we have sort of slipped off the schedule here. Uh, it was supposed to be yesterday but things were a bit hectic here and I didn't have time to do the video. I had already recorded the Giant Machines video and that would have been okay if I hadn't made a fatal mathematics error. So I actually re-uploaded it. Hence the reason why it was uploaded so late, so late yesterday. Um, only 10%, I thought there was more than that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, yes, if you watched yesterday's video before I removed the first video, basically I said the foolish thing of 9 plus 9 is 16. Yeah, when we all know that 9 plus 9 is obviously 18. I can't believe it. It was one of those moments when I just was not thinking at all. Obviously, I do know that 9 plus 9 is 18. Thank you to everyone who pointed it out. Highly embarrassing. So I had to quickly remove the video and upload it again. Otherwise, I was going to be bombarded continually by people saying that 9 plus 9 is not 16. It's, in fact, 18. Uh, but it's good to see that everyone is on the ball. I like to be pointed out with stuff. If you hadn't pointed it out, the video would still be up now and it would be very, very embarrassing. So, hmm, it was bad enough as it was. Anyway, today we're back to normal, sort of. The schedule is sort of a flexi schedule now. I've actually got rid of it. Because the release of FS17 is so near, I'm going to do like a random different video every day. So it could be Thornton Farm one day, it could be Naves World the next, it could be Naves World two days running, who knows? I'm going to keep it a bit of a mixture. But uh, what we do need to do is we need to sell these bales because we don't need them anymore I've established so hmm. also the tractor is very dirty we should probably clean it it would look a lot better let's just move the really old auto stacker or the bale collector it's not really a stacker it's certainly not something I'd want to stack with This should be able to pull it. Probably a bad tractor choice here. But let's just see. Hopefully. Hmm. It does. Good. Right. So we'll move this out of the way. We probably could actually use this as a setup because it's a vintage machinery. So it's very small. So as we know, Farming Simulator 17 is very close. And more and more people are asking me if I'm going to get early access to the game because obviously we want to see it before the release date and the answer to that is I have no idea I would love to know but nobody knows in fact I don't think Giants even know yet if they're going to do early access to some people so we're just gonna have to wait and see but fingers crossed I, I would love to have it early to show everyone but it might be on the same day who knows So, yeah, we need to sell this. Try and get around the corner. Not the easiest thing to, to reverse in a tight space because the drawbar is not very long, really. And I... Oh, that's quite good. Yeah, I was going to offload them, but that seems to work a lot better. There we go. Keeps it quick. So, we've got a slight money increase there. We did need it because we were struggling and we do need to rent a sugar beet harvester. Uh, I just don't know which one to go for. I was going to go for the Roper. Because Ropers, obviously, are quite interesting. Come on then. Let's clean it. Yeah, I don't know if I've still got it. Hopefully I do. I think... Well, I definitely downloaded it for Melbury Estate. But whether or not I kept it, we'll have to find out. Uh, that is for picking up the Sugar Bee with. And, oh no, I must have got rid of it. That is such a shame. Oh no, no. I never bought it. I never got it in the first place because it was glitchy at the time of recording those videos in Margaret's sake. But I think now it's it's fixed. So, yeah, we, we could re-download it or download it for the first time, actually. I'll let you choose. Um... I almost forgot what to say then. <laughs> I'll let you do, what should we do? Should we use the trailed harvester? Should we use the standard self-propelled harvester in the game? Or shall we download the Roper one? 
up to you. But we do need to harvest a small field of sugar beet and a small field of potatoes. You can see the sugar beet is just around here. Drive over here. And yeah, we are running a soil mod still on Thornton Farm. We will be until the end. Oh, that's it. Wash your tractor and drive it straight into the mud. That's the Dagawin way. We are going to skip time because we've got absolutely nothing to do. Uh, the T7 should probably be actually sent back to the dealer because we're gonna it's gonna cost us a fortune. In fact, it did do. Oh, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. I'm not with it at the moment. Um, one second, I'll add that money back in. What a waste. There we go. So, it's not exactly what we had before, but it is more than what we did have. So hopefully, that is gonna be a bit better. Uh, please do bear in mind though, I'm gonna skip time, so we will lose some, some more money, maintenance fees, stuff like that. So prepare to gain and lose money. Let's get to midnight, see what happens. Don't crash, there we go. We gained £4,123, most likely from the cows, I would have thought. And we wake up with actually more money than when we went to bed. Fantastic. So, the, the field is sort of ready. In fact, it's in the process of updating. Come on, update again. A bit more. It's halfway there. This bit should ping in a minute. Crouch down. There we go. We'll skip the fog. Fantastic. So, basically we're just doing a lot of power naps there. Is that ready? That bit isn't, obviously. But this bit here, I think it's not too far off. Uh, hmm, no, still. Another growth stage to go. And now it's raining. Brilliant. Let's sleep again. Is that ready? No, it's still not ready. Field 36 and field 15 are our two fields, potatoes and sugar beet. We need this field to grow. Grow field. Still not there. Skip another day. Sorry if this feels a bit unrealistic. That is crazy. I think we need to boost it up a bit. If the, gro if the growth is on off, I think it's very slow. It's like realistic speed. Come on. Yes, there we go. It would do it at night time. Let's see, get the chainsaw out. So there we go, field 36, not quite ready, that's good, because we're not working on that yet. But field 15 is ready, the, the tops are ready to be removed. Uh, so yeah, we probably won't use the roper harvester today, because that is a big harvester, and this is obviously a very small field. Um, there is one issue, and I think it was the sugar beet harvester. The trailed harvester, basically, um, although the harvester is quite wide, it will only take in half the capacity, I think it was the trailed sugar beet harvest and not the potato one uh, but I can't say for sure without seeing it we'll just take it through here because it's in the way spin round and yes we do need to get this done there we go okay so how much does it cost to rent the trailed sugar beet harvester uh, let's just have a look here We'll need it for about, I would say about five hours in total. And with that, we'll need the topper as well, obviously a lot cheaper, because it's a much cheaper machine, or much cheaper machine to go with this one. Uh, but still, if you add the two together, quite expensive. We've got to get at least a thousand, well, about 1,500 pounds back from this field to make a decent profit, because we've obviously had the seed as well, the potatoes. Um, but we're gonna head over there, pointless washing the tractor, made a mistake doing that but if we can get this field started today then that would be good because we need to make a start there's no rush because we've got until the release of FS17 to do this map and anything within it uh, but if we can make a start that would be, that'd be pretty decent the orchard again is laboured with fruit and oh look at this the trees the trees are pretty much fully grown I would say if they're not on their last growth stage then they're not far off and that is agroforestry I think the 
Forest grew in about 20 days in game time. This tractor should have enough power for this because it's only a very small setup and it's been a very long time since I used the trailed harvester. Uh, in fact, I think it was in... I will say this and then someone corrects me, but I'm pretty sure it was on Cobra Park Farm. We better take the front weight off. Uh, because what we had to do was do that really big field near the yard, but I made the mistake of missing half the crop. <laughs> Another fail moment. Um, yes, I believe what happens is the topper takes quite a lot off, obviously the width of the topper, but the harvester it is this harvester. No, I think it was the potatoes actually. And it takes in half. Yes, it was the potatoes. So we should have it quite easy here. There we go. Yeah, lucky. When we do the potato harvest, I have to be very cautious about the way I do it. Otherwise, it could be terrible. It could be a complete catastrophe. Yeah, this tractor is a 7718, so that is a big tractor. It's like the equivalent of... What would that be? About a... 69, no, 69, 6499 I would have thought, because we're on to the newer style now, or maybe it could be bigger actually. Am I talking a load of rubbish here? I think I'll shut up. I'll let the real life tractor fanatics correct me on that one, but I think it was. I think it, it, it's very close to a 6499. The forestry will have to do before the end. I think we will end up doing about 55 episodes of this, I would have thought. Now the plan of action for doing this, I would say, is to go around the headland a few times because we need to have enough space to turn around, and then we should be able to go up and down the field. The thing is, the intake is not very much, so we'll have to go around quite a few times, mind the bush. Let's get the top of fired up. And also the harvester. And hopefully this is going to work. I have to make sure I see what the intake is. Is that, that working? No. Not quite. Still not working? There we go. Not sure why it wasn't working the first time. But it is working now. We are taking in everything the topper goes over. So yes, it was definitely the potato harvester, which is quite complicated to use, or it just takes a little bit to get used to. It doesn't really help that there is a wall there. Uh, we probably should have left a bit of a, a larger headland. Would have made it easier for me, but I'm sure we'll get away with it. Turning like this is not ideal. Not very good um, nutrients for this field, but we seem to be doing okay. Got 50% so far from going around the headland just once. In fact, this isn't even all the way around, so yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, you can see on the corner it's missed a few. Just the way I had to turn. Quite good timing. So we're going to put the unloading conveyor out. And we'll probably have to reverse back a bit just so it can get in there without driving into the crops. Um, so almost there. And we're full. reverse back into here. We'll have plenty of space to unload without crushing any more. So put that there. And yes, we do need to find a decent tractor and trailer around the yards. We should have one. Uh, obviously not the manure trailer. That would be terrible. Um, but I should have the... I think it's the uh, Marston trailer. Yes, that would do. 
and a tractor. Let's try and find a decent tractor. Shame I had to take the New Holland tractor back because that was a good one. But we should still have the John Deere somewhere around here. There it is. Drop that off and we'll hook on to the Marston trailer and unload the sugar beet harvester. But it's nice to do stuff on a smaller scale. Obviously if you're doing a huge field using this setup would be ridiculous but for what we've got here it's pretty much perfect. there. Yeah I don't know exactly what the attaching is going to be like in FS17. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit more realistic. In fact I think we have seen some footage of it. I can't remember exactly without going back to the video but I seem to remember it does animate attaching. Um, instead of just sort of going click and then it miraculously appears on the back. So it is better I think as far as I can remember. Yes I'm pretty sure um, there are some quite good gameplay videos already out there of FS17 at Gamescom. Obviously that's like a pre-release version so some things will have changed before release. But it still gives you a pretty good idea of what it's going to be like. I don't know how much will fit in here. But as usual we'll take the headlands off today and then we'll finish off tomorrow and probably do something else as well. There we go, 28% in total. Shut that off there. And can we get out or... Maybe. Just about. We will resume. When we have enough space, I might put it on a worker. Because we're going to have to head to and from the yard. I'm not sure exactly when we're going to do the potato harvest, obviously they're not ready yet. Uh, but it won't be too long. Shall we do the forestry first or shall we do the potatoes first? I can't really decide. I think we should probably do forestry because it sort of breaks it up. Potato and sugar beet harvesting are relatively similar in Farming Simulator. So doing something a bit different would be uh, a nice break. Been very, very busy recently. That's probably part of the reason why I'm cracking up. Uh, like saying 9 plus 9 is 16, which it obviously isn't. Um, but yeah, very soon I should be able to do some more videos. I have been trying to do some different ones, such as Giant Machines, which is a very good game actually. I do like it. Some people don't like it, but I think the majority do. For what it is, it's a good game. Um, because usually, when you sort of, it's not it's not like free play. You sort of on a track, if you know what I mean. You, you're guided down the track. Uh, you can't just go off and do whatever you want. It's not free roam. Um, usually, those kind of games are a bit limited. But no, this one seems quite good. If we wanted to, we could tip the sugar bee just here. Is that the conveyor for it? I think it is. Not very far to go at all. Try and straighten this up. I'm going to go straight up here because you'd usually follow the rows anyway. And then we'll probably come back down again. Really neaten up. And that would be perfect timing for unloading. And we'll unload. I would have this set up again. Having a John Deere and a Matty Ferguson keeps people happy as well because I know what some people are like. Stop using red machinery, use green. So yeah, we've got a bit of green here too. A bit of blue, we've had a bit of blue. A bit of yellow, we should have a bit of fast track. And what colours are we missing there? 
probably a very vital brand, but I've forgotten. Now I think blue, green and red and yellow seem to be the main colours for tractors. That's 56% full. I'm going to continue on my own, doing a little bit, and we'll resume in a minute or two. Right, getting on well. Uh, once again, 67% full. You can see the square that we're doing here. Taking the outskirts off, the headlands off. Uh, but we do need to tidy up the corners, being a bit messy really. Can make it look a bit better than that. Well, this will be the final load of today, and then we need to tip it or sell it. I'm not too sure really. Let's just take a look. What is the price actually like? Because we don't need to rush into selling it if we don't need to. Sugar beet is what this is. Oh, that's not very good. 383. Um, that's it. £383 per tonne. I suppose, well, I don't know. I don't know what it's like in real life. What's it worth in real life? Anything. Is that good? Is that a good figure or is that a bad figure? I'm sure at some point we will get a great demand for it, so we don't need to rush into selling it. We'll tip it straight into the storage point, which I think is just here, unless that's the potatoes. I'll have to double check, but it looked like a sugar beet. Hopefully. But not a bad start today. Don't think you can put it on a worker without course play. Because it's not it's not self-propelled, so it's not really intelligent enough. Eighty-six percent, and we should just about make it up to the top and come back down again to unload. But we've made ourselves a bit of space. Obviously, the more space there is, the less we miss. Just tidy things up at the end, but on the whole, things have gone okay today. Better than yesterday on uh, giant machines. Still can't get over it. But yeah, Giant Machines itself is a very good game. And it's released very soon. There we go, all done. So we'll switch it off and we'll unload. I could have folded the conveyor belt back up again, but not really much point when we need it so often. Put a bit more in the back. And it's not quite full, but it's not going to be very far off. We'll shut that off. And we'll go over to the John Deere. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> that was a really bad driving skill there. Oh, that's it. Drive straight into where the trees are. I thought there was more space. Is that a potato or a sugar beet? That is sugar beet. So we should, if all goes to plan, we should be able to just reverse into here and tip it. And then wait for a great demand. Very simple to load up as well. Convey about right next to it. Fantastic. Clearly it's been set up for a lot of sugar beet because it's like a puddle in the bottom or we've tipped here. But yeah, not a bad start at all. We'll spin round, put it back in the field, we'll finish this tomorrow. Or the day after. It just depends. It depends what we're gonna do. I might do Naves well tomorrow, but we've done a lot of Naves well recently. We'll see. But I've done this flexible schedule before, and it worked kind of, but it's quite hard for me to keep on, on top of. Uh, so it's just literally just for a month, even less actually, until I release the Farming Simulator 2017. But from me, that is it today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and we will return to something very soon tomorrow. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.